you know, the world is flooded with photos of uh, spots where you can easily go. And I want to be a bit more in touch with the nature, in touch with the scenic, in touch with and feel the, the, the environment. And also to bring it a little bit into the photos. At least to be in touch with the subject that I take photos of. I think that's important. And when I tell stories around photography, and around nature photographing, I think it's important that people start to understand their environment and start to understand that nature is something unique. And if you are in touch with it, then I think you are able to do much better photos. We need nature, you know, to live in. And nature doesn't need us. People call this area the lost wilderness of Europe. It's um, a high mountain area in north of Sweden, about 100 kilometers north of the polar circle. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a real remote area. You need to hike a long distances and there's very rare infrastructure. So that's, that's a, real, a real nature area. Yesterday morning, when we came up the first time uh, above the forest, above the tree line, and we had some little bit cloudy sky, and, and then the sun came through sometimes, and, and, and the lakes were totally calm, no wind, like a pure mirror. And taking photos in such situation is uh, marvelous. A friend of mine said he, he feels always good when he needs to suffer for his photos. And maybe there's something true in it. <laughs> so to work for, for pictures you do is something good. I like it. Sometimes when I'm, when, when I'm carrying my big bag up to such a mountain, I think and I ask myself, why am I doing this? But when you are up there and when you have a scenic like this, you forget everything. Here you have almost the whole day perfect light. You have almost no pollution, so a very clear and crisp uh, air, which gives you beautiful light for everything. <laughs> you can take photos of everything, looks better than somewhere else. Let's say that the, diff the, the time in autumn and spring, I like most. You know, sunset for hours, sunrise for hours. It's perfect for landscape photography. I think landscape photographers should be willing to see the nature and to dive into it and use their photos always also for teaching people that we are responsible for our environment. So having a message behind it or using the photos if you, and even if you suffer for photos like this, use these photos to teach people that they need to understand that this is something beautiful, but we need to, we need to care about it.